Hello, I'm Dr. Amir Maybad, spine surgeon with the Twin City Spine Center. In my orthopedic spine practice, I frequently counsel my patients about the most common risk factors that contribute to spine problems, including neck and back pain. The first factor to consider is your genetic makeup. Certain spine problems and the predisposition to back and neck pain can be hereditary. While we can't change our genetics, at least not yet, it is helpful to know that if your parents or other close family members have had spine problems, you may be at increased risk. If this is the case, managing the rest of the risk factors we will discuss should be that much more of a priority for you. We all know that smoking is bad for our lungs and cardiovascular system, but did you know that smoking also affects your spine? Several studies in the United States and abroad have shown increased risks of back pain in patients who smoke versus those who do not. The toxins in cigarettes can negatively impact both the bones and soft tissues that make up the spine. Being overweight is another risk factor that influences spine health. Carrying extra weight in our body frame puts additional biomechanical forces on our spine. The mathematical equation for this is weight times gravity equals force. Since there is little we can do to change gravity, it is our weight that we need to manage in order to lower the force that our spine is subjected to just in the course of daily living. Proper nutrition is one of the ways to influence our weight, and getting adequate amounts of important vitamins and calcium can be influential in our bone health and avoiding osteoporosis as we age. Osteoporosis increases the risk for spinal fractures. A sedentary or inactive lifestyle is also a risk factor for spine problems. In part, that's because being sedentary often relates to being overweight, but also because we need to strengthen our bodies through activity, use, and exercise if we are to have strong muscles. Our muscles, particularly those in our core, help our spines bear the load and the force of carrying our bodies. Weight-bearing exercises and activity has also been shown to improve bone health. Most of the things we discussed may already be on your radar and be something you're currently working on for better overall health. Hopefully, knowing that improving these areas of your health should also improve your spine health may give you extra incentive for making progress in these areas. If you need additional help managing any of these risk factors, consult your doctor.